Welcome back, boys and girls. And some of you might be wondering, what did Dr. Holiday got for his birthday? What? Dr. Holiday? Yes, it's the nickname one of my viewers gave me, and I like it. It's pretty cool. But anyway, what did I get? This is what I got. For today, I'm gonna start with Trigger Gauge by Willard. And I still have $130 left over to spend. So if you have any good ideas, let me know. If not, that's gonna come in the future. Whatever it's gonna be. And you might be wondering, it's about time he gets a trigger gauge. Well, finally I got one. Well, let's unbox it. No, let's unpack it and do a review on it. Okay, let's take a look. I bought this at Amazon for 54 bucks. Uh, MSRP was 69, I think. And they had this on sale. And honestly, the reason I've been bringing off buying a trigger gauge was I really didn't feel like I needed one. And I always felt like my finger was good enough to give me a pretty good estimation. It says Wheeler Engineering. And the gauge measures up to 12 pounds and plus or minus 0.5% accuracy. We'll see about that. And has a low battery indicator. And AAA batteries are not included. So I have it right there. Automatically calculates the max and minimum and average pull force. Let's open it up. Okay, it comes in a nice plastic box. They have production calibration certificate. Three pound measure three, five pounds measure five, nine pound measure nine, 0 0.1. And here it says quality control pass. So that's pretty neat. Here's the instruction. I hate reading instructions, but this one, I will because it's only got three steps. Okay, lights are on. This has a unit button where you could change it from pounds, ounce, and kilograms. It's got a mode, delete, and enter button. And you could pull the arm out and swing all the way up till it snaps. This actually turns so that you'll have easier access to your trigger. And in the center, that's the power button. All right, let's check it out. Okay, let's first start with my Thompson Center Compass. I know this one came with the worst trigger ever but I did replace the trigger spring. So I always told myself this should be around three pounds, but let's see how close it is. It's empty. Three pounds and two ounces. Press enter. Two pounds and fourteen ounces. Two pounds and eleven ounces. On the left lower corner, it shows the average two pounds and fifteen ounces, so it's about three pounds. And on the right lower corner, it says I did three pulls. Push the mode button. In the front, it shows the highest weight, which is three pounds and two point nine ounces. And the next issue is the lowest pull, which is 2 pounds and 11.9 ounce. Pretty cool, I like it. Okay, next I'm gonna try my Savage. It is empty. To clear it, all you have to do is push down the delete button for about a couple of seconds and everything clears. Wow, 1 pound and 14 ounce.
one pound and 11 ounce. Enter. One pound and 11 ounce. Okay, the maximum is one pound and 14 ounce and the lowest is one pound and 11 ounce, which is crazy light. So the average is one pound and 12 ounce. I was told myself this should be about two pounds, but it's actually lighter than I thought. Okay, this is my Weatherby. And I was told myself this is actually the best hunting trigger. It's very sensitive, but not too heavy and not too light. And I was told myself it should be about two and a half pounds. Two pounds and 11 ounce. In there. Two pound and six ounce. In there. Two pounds and six ounce. Enter. So the maximum is two pounds and 11 ounce and the minimum was two pounds and five ounce. And the average is two pounds and eight ounce. So I'm actually almost right. So my final thought on Wheeler trigger gauge, I think this is really distant and pretty accurate. And I think the reason why we have different reading is that how this is placed on the trigger and when you pull, depending on how it slides off or how much you pull even after it clicks. But using an average rating, it feels pretty accurate. And lastly, like always, thank God for what you have. Enjoy life with what you got. But mostly, thank God for your mama. See you later.